Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing how to replace the ignition module on the lawn tractor with a Kohler Command engine. What I'll be working on today is a Kohler Command 15.5 horsepower engine. Now the same procedure will apply to many other Kohler engines in regards to replacing the ignition module. Now what's happening with this tractor is it runs for a while, then it won't run good. You let it sit for a while, then it will run okay for a while again. So that's a classic symptom of a faulty ignition module. To start with, there's four bolts to remove on this side. There's one here, one there, one here, and one over here. And there'll be a few more on the other side. When you remove this bolt here, this little clip here for the fuel line will come off. This bolt here holds the dipstick tube, so just leave the tube there. Next, I'm going to remove this bolt here in the front of the engine. Usually there's a bolt over here, it's broken inside, so I'm not going to worry about it. There's just this one here to remove. Now that all the bolts are removed, just simply pull on the cover. And before you pull too hard, make sure to remove the spark plug wire from the cover. And here's the ignition module over here. This is the part I'll be replacing. Now disconnect the spark plug cap. Now disconnect this wire here from the ignition module. Now with the same 8mm socket that I used to remove the shroud, I'm going to remove the two bolts here holding the ignition module. And that's all that's holding it on. Once these two bolts are off, you can just simply pull it right out. And here it is. And here's the new ignition module. It's part number 12, space 584, space 04-S. It's an OEM Kohler ignition module. And it does come with the spark plug boot as well. Now what I'm going to take off the old one is the little grommet over here for the shroud. Just simply spread it and then insert it on the new part. Now when you go to reinstall the ignition module on the engine, always put this side here facing up. Now to make it easier to show you the installation, I removed the tractor hood. Now I'm just going to simply reinsert the new ignition module on top of the studs. And I'm going to put in the two bolts, but just loosely for now. Now I'm going to hold the ignition module back. I'm just going to stick a business card over here for spacer. And I'm going to turn the flywheel until the magnets line up with the module. Just like this. And the bolts are still loose there, by the way. And here's a view from the other side and the top. You can see the business card is acting as a spacer. You can also use a large feeler gauge with approximately a 20,007 inch blade. I'm not sure of the exact measurement between the ignition module and the flywheel, but this works all the time. Now the ignition module will be stuck to the magnets a bit because it's lined up on the flywheel. Once it's like that, just simply tighten up both bolts. I'm going to try to tighten them up evenly at the same time. Now just simply turn the flywheel, remove the business card. Now there should be a nice gap between the ignition module and the flywheel. Just like you see now. If your ignition module is rubbing on the flywheel magnets, then you're going to need to regap it. It cannot be rubbing at all on the flywheel. Now at this point, you can reconnect the positive wire to the ignition module. Make sure it's tight. If it's not tight, just crimp down this clip here and put it back on. And now I'm going to connect the spark plug boot back on the spark plug. Now before I finish reinstalling the shroud, I'm just going to start up the tractor the way it is. If you do, be very careful because the flywheel is right in the open there spinning.
So she's running good, now she's good to go. So now you can go ahead and realign the cover on top to put it back on. I'm also going to line up the grommet over here that goes inside the shroud and push it all the way up. Now when you put this cover in, you want this part here to be inside the black parts or the black metal. And it's the same over here. You want this part to be inside the shroud. And now you can line up the holes and start putting the bolts back on. I'm not going to fully tighten them up yet. I'm going to make sure they're all on before I tighten them all up. Now remember that the longer bolt is to hold the dipstick tube. And there's also a short bolt that goes over here. And there's one that goes over here. And don't forget to reattach the clip for this bolt. And now this bolt over here. As I mentioned earlier, there's usually a bolt over here, but it is broken inside the threads here, so I'm just going to leave it. And now just go around tightening up all the bolts. And don't forget to insert the fuel line in the clip here. And when you're done, make sure the grommet for the spark plug wire is in position like this. It's to protect the wire from the metal. So it's that easy to replace the ignition module on your Kohler Command engine if you get different symptoms where your engine runs good for a while when it's cold and then doesn't run good after it's ran for a few minutes, then it's probably the ignition module that needs to be replaced. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you'll see me next time.